Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Keppel. Today's video is another episode of new and must have crafty supplies. You can see the entire playlist up here. In today's video, we're taking a look at six different new and must have crafty supplies and they're all under $15. I'm also excited about today's episode because each product is so different. We're gonna take a look at a die, a stencil, some sequins, an embossing folder, and more. Today I'm also celebrating Celebrating, reaching 10,000 subscribers and I'm doing a big giveaway so stick around till the end of the video to hear about that. So let's jump right in and look at these fun and must-have new crafty supplies. Here are all the supplies that I am trying out today. First I got the Memory Box Polished Foil Cardstock 6x6 Pad. You get two sheets of each color and there are 12 colors, so 24 sheets in total. Check out these amazing colors and these foil sheets have loads of shine. Next up is an embossing folder from Fun Stampers Journey. This is an A2 sized embossing folder and I love the large box plaid. If you haven't seen my six ways to use embossing folder video, I'm going to link to that here. Next are these gorgeous sequins from Little Things from Lucy's Cards. I've bought other embellishments from this company and I'm always impressed with their quality and these matte gold 8mm sequins are no different. This is the first time I'm trying out the Simon Says Stamp Sentiment Strips. You get two of each sentiment strip sets and I love how easy it is to just add these to cards and how they look like white heat embossed sentiments. Also from Simon Says, I chose this detail medallion die. When I saw this in their latest release, I wanted it right away. It's so unique and I love the double line of dot details that this die cuts. Last but not least, also from the latest Simon Says Stamp Let's Connect collection, I grabbed the Layering Rainbow Stencil. This is actually a two stencil set. One stencil gives you the ability to create two different rainbows and raindrops, and the other gives you two cloud borders and three cloud shapes. With that quick overview of the products that I'm using today, now I'm going to jump in, take a deeper look at each of them, and also use them in card making. The foil papers in the memory box paper pad are so shiny, they reflect everything on my desk. Plus, the colors are beautiful. I trimmed down a champagne color down to four and a quarter by five and a half. These papers cut like butter. They're so shiny that I'm getting fingerprints all over it, but that's okay because I'm going to emboss it with the Fun Stampers Journey Pretty Plaid Embossing Folder. I love the way the foiled paper looks embossed. Next, I cut a different color foil with the Simon Says Medallion Die and the foil paper die cut beautifully too. Those little pierced details are so elegant. I grabbed a sentiment from the Simon Says Stamp Sentiment Strips. I cut off the white borders to make this sheet easier to cut down into the strips that I want. And then I use my Tim Holtz trimmer to cut exactly where I need and which strip I wanted. I carefully applied some tape runner to the embossed foil piece because I didn't want it to bend and I matted it on some Gina K cardstock. It is a thinner foil sheet than I'm used to. Then I'm using some black foam tape to pop up the medallion and I trimmed down another piece of that black foam tape to pop up the sentiment. I'm super impressed with all that shine. To contrast the shiny cardstock, I decided to embellish this card with the matte gold sequins and I just wanted to show you the difference between some of the gold shiny sequins I had and these new matte gold ones. I love the look of the matte gold because it's different than anything else I have sequin wise. I used the Studio Katya embellishment wand to pick up the sequins after placing them where I want them and I add a tiny drop of Thermweb Ultra Bond liquid glue. Less is definitely more with this adhesive. I seriously loved making this card and it has so much interest between the shine and the foil and the contrast to the matte sequins, the embossed background, the beautiful dye, and the modern font of the sentiment. But it was so easy to create. For this next rainbow card, I'm going to share how I use the layering rainbow stencil. And whenever I use stencils, I use Thermoweb Pixie Spray to hold them in place on my Waffle Flower Water Media Mat when I'm going to be doing ink blending. So once I get everything in place, then I ink blended over the 
top arc of the rainbow with Distress Oxide Picked Raspberry. Once that looked the way I wanted it, I peeled off the stencil and placed it back down with the second arc just below the first arc that we had blended. You don't have to reapply Pixie Spray because one application works for several uses. Next, I blended with Wild Honey and then squeezed Lemonade, mowed Lawn, and then Broken China. I'm now going to use the cloud border above the rainbow and blend tumbled glass from the bottom of the cloud to just around the rainbow. It's been a while since I made a square card and this rainbow fit perfectly on a three and three quarter inch square, which I placed on a four by four black cardstock square, and then all of that on a four and a quarter by four and a quarter white card base. Because of the black cardstock mat, the sentiment strip looked perfect in the clouds, and that sentiment is so heartfelt and such a good reminder for everyone we love right now. I wanted to share how the other rainbow differs from the first, so for this card I'm working on an A2 piece of white cardstock and using the pixie spray to hold it in place. This time, I grabbed some purple tape to mask off a couple of spots I was afraid of getting ink on accidentally. I used brights rather than pastel colors for this rainbow, and the way this part of the stencil works, you keep it in place for the entire time. The cloud stencil has a cloud with a flat bottom that fits perfectly under this rainbow. I only applied ink to the edge of the cloud so that it would still mostly appear white. I was a little messy with the ink, so I'm using my Tombow Mono Multi Sand Eraser to get rid of a few spots of orange. I cut the panel down to four by five and a quarter and matted that on a sheet of the gold foil paper. In the last Simon Says Stamp release Facebook Live, they mentioned that these sentiment strips are printed in toner ink, which means you can use deco foil on them with a laminator. All you need to do is place the sentiment strip inside a piece of parchment paper, then cut a strip of the foil that's a little bit larger than your sentiment strip and place that on top with the color of the foil facing up towards you and run that whole sandwich through the laminator. Once it comes out and cools, peel off the foil transfer sheet to reveal the foiled sentiment strip. I popped up the sentiment strip on foam adhesive and added some of the matte gold sequins which reminded me of gold coins at the end of the rainbow. I wanted to combine the embossing folder with the stencil, so I embossed some white cardstock and then ink blended clouds in different colors on top of that. I love how you can really see the texture of the embossing folder where the ink blending is and the shape of each of those clouds is so so cute. I ended up cutting this panel down so that I could mat it on light blue foil cardstock and I added three of the small sentiment strips and matte gold sequins. All of these cards are so simple but this one is probably the simplest with only white, black, and gold. I love that medallion die so much that I cut several of them to create my background. I used tape runner and adhered the die cut off the edge of the panel and then flipped the entire panel over and cut off anything that was hanging off the edge. I continued to do this until the entire panel is covered and it creates a really pretty pattern with not a lot of work at all. Whenever I cut the edges of pieces, I keep them in case there are spots that I need to fill in later. I definitely needed my tool in one with this die. I think all the tiny piercings really keep the die cut stuck in place until you poke them out. I trimmed the panel down and popped it up on a four and a quarter by five and a half inch white card base. And then I used black foam tape to pop up the sentiment strip. Finally, I added the matte gold sequins as accents, and I really like the elegant look that these supplies can really create on a very simple card.
Now for the giveaway. Since I purchased these and all of my new must-have crafty supplies at Simon Says Stamp, I thought it'd be fun to give away an $100 gift card. All of the details of the giveaway will be down in the YouTube description box below. But basically, I would love if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and then leave me a comment letting me know which was your favorite supply that I reviewed today. Also, make it easy for me to contact you if you're the winner. Leave your email address right in the comments. If you want more entries, I'd love if you'd share this video with your friends. So if you do that, let me know in the comments below. Again, I want to thank you so much for being here, for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I know your time is valuable and I really appreciate every second that you spend with me. I'll leave this giveaway open for an entire week so you have plenty of time to have seen it and to share with your friends. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell so you can be notified anytime I have a new video available. As always, thank you for being here. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon.